Good afternoon, makers. So, posted a few videos about my Prusa Mark III and MMU 20S, which I finally got and installed a little over a month ago. Yeah, astute viewers probably noticing that there are four rolls of filament, and that is because my MMU is in the box going back to Prusa. I have given up on it um, after hours and hours of uh, failed prints, um, MMU selector disagreeing with the um, other part of the MMU on which filament was loaded, wasting probably almost an entire spool of filament uh, over the span of a month, and just generally uh, this overwhelming feeling that I had spent three or so hundred dollars screwing up the uh, most perfect printer I've ever owned, which is the Mark III. So I did order the Mosaic palette. was hesitant because it costs a little more, um, and also because it has four instead of five um, filaments with which it can print. But I gotta tell you, so this is, this is my third print. This is my first really large print. Um, here in a minute I'll uh, get the first and second calibration prints. So it's just a brilliant design. Um, the thing is so easy to load. It's a bit more polished. Um, I really love, and I'll post a more in-depth review of the palette um, at some point soon. By the way, sorry my maker space is a mess, but you can actually pop the cover off and see this thing working. It is, um, it is beautiful in its simplicity or simple in its beauty, however you want to put it. Um, but on the two calibration prints I've printed so far, I found the, um, the splicing and the color transitions to be perfect. The other thing is, from the printer's perspective, yeah, and, and again, my makerspace is a wreck because I just installed this day before yesterday, so I've still got the janky LED strips hanging up. I'll be fixing that very soon. Um, so as far as the Mark III is concerned, there is one continuous strand of filament coming to it. So, you know, infinitely fewer opportunities for prints to get messed up because you're not doing the uh, tool change every layer. There's no... Uh, there is a purge block which is customizable with the palette too, but you're not doing um, cooldowns and ramming and retracts and reloads during your wipe. So the thing just prints, um, and it you know it's printing. I'm actually my white color. I'm printing a model off of Thingiverse. It's a four color Winterfell from Game of Thrones. Um, my white filament is it's like a really cheap. Um, old roll uh, that is kind of stuck together so I've had to unspool it a bit but it's still you know it's printing beautifully it's printing the way that my Mark III did when I first took it out of the box um, in February so I'm really really happy to have my printer back and so far just delighted with the palette after a month of um, frustration with the MMU 2.0 um, Prusa has been great about you know, support and they you know, all these things so I'm certainly not bashing Prusa it's just that the MMU 2.0 was not meeting my needs and I think probably there are others that are having the same experiences I was having the other thing I love about this palette is you'll see on the right side of my space boy I should be embarrassed to even publish this video my place is such a wreck there's my uh, my first printer, my Monoprice uh, Maker Select Plus, which has been you know hacked and tuned up, uh, but I can just as easily print multiple material with the palette on my older printer as I can on my Prusa. It's just a matter of popping the tube out and changing it over from the Prusa extruder to the Titan Arrow. So, um, yep. Uh, better review, more in-depth review on the Mosaic palette coming up sometime soon. Um, and I'm going to um, show just a couple of photos of what 
the um, first two calibration prints looked like. Thanks for watching and happy making. Yeah, so I lied. Uh, in this hot mess of a makerspace, I'm only able to find my second of two calibration prints. So, um, Mosaic has uh, a two color and a four color little um, key keychain, key fob that they suggest you print. Uh, so, this was my second print. It was my first true four color print. And I gotta say, the this was with no calibration, no tuning. This was quite literally. I had hooked the thing up, I had printed a two color print, and then I sliced and printed a four color print. And um, it's really hard to find any fault with the color transition. It's, it, it's probably as near perfect as you can get with FDM. Uh, this is a look at the, the purge and wipe block, which actually is kind of cool looking itself. I, uh, it's probably just that I'm still very thrilled to have a printer that works again, but. I can't bring myself to throw this little thing away because it's so pretty. Um, yeah, so uh, thanks again for watching. Have a good day.